Hello Kings and Queens, welcome to you guys timeless pick a card. For this pick a card we are going to take a look at the yes or no answer to your question. Um, I will explain later how this reading goes but for the people that already knows I will put your emoji sticker or emoji on your palm right now. So you can concentrate on the cards while I continue with this intro. First of all, if you are new here, hi, welcome. Thankful that you found me. If you like the vibration, don't forget to subscribe. Here on this side of YouTube, we kiki and having fun, all of that. But we also know how to give it to you straight up without always putting a ribbon on it. So if I'm that kind of a psychic reader for you, don't forget then to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And if you are already familiar, honey, hey royals, how you doing, babe? I'm, 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 I'm thankful, thankful that you're back again. As always, I like you guys, y'all. I like y'all. Hope you like me too. Good, duh. That's why you're here. Ah, stupid question. Like, continue. <laughs> Honey, we are going in once again. I already done your reading, as you know, with a yes or no power. I will always do the intro afterwards so you get the cards that came out when uh, the answer to your question came out. So, yeah, um, that being said, I also want to mention to each and every one of you, you can support me on my spiritual journey by becoming a YouTube member. Yeah? And uh, in exchange, you will get exclusive content and bonus reading from my part of the situation i thank you if you can do that and if you wish to have a private reading with me you can also find the link to it down below the december uh has not yet no i haven't yet put it out but the november is yet still uh, available so uh yeah that's it now Let's go for your past because that is why you're here. Uh, let's see. For the first pile, you have this sticker or emoji as your pile. For the second pile, this is your sticker or emoji. For your third pile, this is the sticker or emoji. For the fourth pile, this is your sticker or emoji. And for the fifth pile, this is your sticker or emoji. I will explain now for the people that doesn't know how this works. I will explain. And also you will find 30 seconds meditation on your card if you need more time you know afterwards at time stamps for everything down below now for the people that doesn't know how this works now you think of a question whatever question you have where we can answer you with a simple yes or no um, you will then concentrate on your cards that pulls you in to the question that you have in mind now um, you will get then a yes or no answer to your question why and also the spirit's advice uh, if you feel drawn to two more or three particular power for one question it take it as an extended reading to the question that you are having and if you have five questions and you feel drawn to one particular pile for that means that for all the questions that you are having that particular pile has the answer to it all yeah like wow <laughs> it can happen i i had it once so yeah that being said i will give you guys 30 seconds to breathe in breathe out choose your pile you will hear three high pitch notes just to oomph you up and i'll see you at the pile or piles that you have chosen timestamps are down below So, pal one, you have chosen this sticker or emoji as your pal. Let's take a look. Let's see when it comes to the question that you are having. Is it a yes or a no? I ask my guides, your guides. All that has the best interest for us, hum to none, to let us know. For my lovely, beautiful pal one, the answer that they are having, is it a yes or a no? The, to the question that they are having. So you have the page of air it is a yes because it's a lesson and this lesson can be 
good lesson or bad lesson because there is na- naivety in it is what I'm getting. Looking at a page is young, is fresh, is it doesn't see fear, it doesn't see uh, it see the world as uh, go ahead, explore, learn new things. You know when you have a teenager and a teenager that might been brought up very well at home, like this is danger and watch out for these friends, watch out for that friend. But once they are in the world then it's on their own and the choices they make is for them a lesson of life what the what action they take what kind of a karma they create that is this answer whoa (laughs) so the answer to your question is yes because there is a lesson in there for you and as i said can be a good karma or bad karma but let's take a look let's see why um, they are giving you this answer to your question let's see why child oh that's my beach oh i like this one i like oh we will talk about it one let's see one more and then we will talk about it let's see your cards are very specific okay thank you and i'm getting to also take this one empress nice underneath the deck you have the eight of water oh wow okay you guys may i say um looking at the eight of water and the queen of swords that just came out and the empress stuff i do think the question that you are having it's has to do with independence like searching and knowing who you really are in this situation or what you can be how this can become whatever your question is so you have my beach the queen of swords you guys have lots of cards yeah you also have the ten of swords you have the queen of earth now funny story before i started this reading i did a a pre-shuffle and these two came out together and now once again they are together so spirit was ready to give you your answer honey you also have the empress together with the three of pentacles okay now for you the reason why you are getting this answer is because it will make you wiser knowledgeable um it will make you realize later it's not now later down the line maybe years from now you will see that without this experience without whatever you are questioning about without this happening you will not be who you are then you know often we experience or we go through something and we wonder why me kind of a thing and later down the line we realize i will not pick out that situation to not happen to me if i have to go through it again you'll be like oh i will go through it again because whatever happened in that moment in that time made me who i am today often you hear that now why do i say that is because you have powerful females here on the table as i said the queen of swords my bitch the queen of earth and the empress okay now looking at the painful side the ten of swords yes you will be uh, people will betray you yes you will be stabbed in the back yes it's a painful lessons here and there but they are lessons that you need to know for you to become from the page of air going to the queen of swords from the queen of swords knowing also your fruitfulness and your abundance that what you can create but do not let other people anymore make use of you stab you kind of a thing having to know people that are willing to help you that are willing to co-work with you that it's kind of like in harmonious and it might as well be that these three people are these three people the lessons that you need to learn so you may encounter uh, a female very strict maybe called di- very direct like doesn't play around like sees things for what it is and sees people for who they are and is not afraid to cut people's mask off be like no 
don't trust that person. So you might encounter a person like that. You will also might encounter a person that is very uh, fruitful and abundance in whatever endeavor they choose to go in life. They have it. Like you will see like it, it has a sense or a smell of beautifulness with this person and richness with this person. Like the queen of swords also, but the the queen of earth because these two are my bitches yeah both of them like uh, the queen of earth is more as in you know um grounded sure of whatever that they are doing just like the queen of swords but more in earthly form the queen of swords is just look at the sky the sky can change and move and is free but the queen of earth is like the earth is steady it's firm and it has its own seasons doesn't do things like no, it's very like um, nature, like everything has seasons, everything has its time, but has lots of patience. The queen of swords, air element, you know, doesn't have that patience. Just think of your Gemini, your Libra and your Aquarius. Aquarius definitely doesn't have that patience for you, honey. So and so that is those kind of people can come across you or a earth sign is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy and the Empress give both of them like libra and taurus okay so you may encounter um those people that are willing to men or female okay willing to actually collaborate with you and give you the knowledge the wisdom of whatever that it is that you are questioning about now let's see what you need to know more about the question that you are having but I must say for you, my lovely, beautiful pal, uh, one, this question that you are having is um, something where you will question why. Why is this happening? Um, and it will hurt you. It is painful. Okay. I will because, yes, I said lots of beautiful things. But this one is always the most, it, it's like the end, the 10 of air is the end like the last step that you need but the last step is like the last betray that you be like wow i did not know that you 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 it's you you are the one that's going to actually put the last nail in my coffin coffin kind of a situation and you need that pain i'm sorry to say that but you need that pain you need that betrayal you need that so you can understand and see what certain people or certain situation is capable of okay now let's see what you need to know more you have it's time to take action new moon in aries we like that fire sign has decided to join the reading let's see because you only have air and earth here on this table but now also the aries sign what it is that you need to know can i get one more can you why is your cards like stubborn <laughs> taurus energy like they are very precise now that i'm mad at it gemini also <laughs> you have communication is key uh, gemini once again a new moon this is definitely to do with a new beginning for you my lovely beautiful pal one okay definitely new beginning and in this new beginning once i don't know what your question is but once it happens whatever that needs to happen move okay move go and you don't have to like go straight directly no because once again i said you have the air element very strong here on this table and you have the earth element the earth element if you look at your cars is you can see it like these are the air like a yin yang and this is the earth okay now here's the thing like you need to know the balance of uh air energy and earth energy maybe that is why i have to explain you why the queen of swords is that kind of a queen and why the queen of uh, earth is that kind of a queen because the balance is very important for you now here's the thing it's okay to take longer because the longer it takes you the more steady it is if you go too fast 
you might um, make wrong mistakes, but or it, it, the betrayal for some of you might happen in communication when you communicate with people or when you connect with um, um, uh, siblings and close connections surrounding you. It can be friends also for some of you and it can be partners. So the thing is the betrayal comes from a one-on-one -on -one situation with you. Okay, my love. But with what I'm getting for you is that whatever happened, you yet still need to go. Okay, and it doesn't matter if you take longer for you to go there or longer for you to reach your destination because it will be more firm, more uh, in details kind of a way, more steady. So do not make quick decision. You really, when you use the air element, become the queen of swords. You, like the page of air is the one fresh and new, but later in life becomes the queen of swords because of the lessons and the betrayals that all had happened in he should they eat life, your life. You do, when you mature, when you grow up, when you learn the lesson, you be like, uh -uh, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice. What is it? Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on... Honey, shame. Okay, shame. Whatever, <laughs> whatever, shame, 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 shame. Okay, ring the bell. Like Games of Thrones it out. <laughs> but yeah, whatever it is, shame, okay, shame. But um, move and go, you have to. Time to take action and communication is key. Be aware how you communicate also. But this situation comes with new beginnings. These are your advice card that you guys, your spiritual theme Ooh, I'm a, listen, look at this, a flow, okay, flow also wanted to show itself, so flow, let's see, sadness underneath the deck, so for your advice card, your guys, your spiritual team is saying you have frustration, please do not be frustrated with like wanting to fit in or trying to fit in, so in something or somewhere and it doesn't happen for you, please do not do that, maybe it's time for you to learn the lesson, realize maybe you are not supposed to be there, if a place or a situation is asking of you to change who you are for you to fit in, ask yourself, are they really looking for you then? Okay, because hey, I can, um, let's just say, I can go to Antarctica, where there is snow, okay, Finland, whatever have you, you know, and grab some snow and go to the Caribbean and be like, why are you melting? You are not supposed to melt. You need to stay and remain snow forever. Like, does snow belong in the Caribbean? Only in my ice cream, but you know, whatever have you. So really, don't try to change or become something where it isn't for you to do that because that is not who you are. So also you have fear. So with this one, do not fear to be you. Do not fear to, to go out and do different, do new, do start new connection. Do not fear nothing because everything has a plan, as your card is saying. And also consciousness. Use your intuition, use your own discernment, you know, and follow what you sense and feel what you guys your spiritual team is you know giving you the inkling of listen power one this isn't okay or this isn't supposed to be like that okay you guys your spiritual team are backing you up but it is your fear of change or your fear of not fitting in or your fear of new beginnings that makes it that oh i cannot do that like yes you can yes you can you also thought that you couldn't walk. And guess what? You walk, okay? Or you crawl or whatever. You are breathing, okay? So you once thought something couldn't. Meanwhile, it did could, okay? Look at you now. So 
go for whatever this is i don't know your question honey but yeah let me know down below if you if you uh found your question you know that that you know was okay put up some moons that will let me know you are part one and you reach the end with me and i thank you new moon you know that new moon put up some new moon love and i will see you in another part or another reading of mine bye bye so pal two you have chosen this sticker or emoji as your pal let's take a look let's see when it comes to the answer to your question if it is a yes or a no i ask my guides your guides all that has the best interest for us harm to none to let us know for you my lovely beautiful pal two what is the answer to your question is it a yes or a no Honey, you have the page of fire. I don't know, but the pages are coming out. <laughs> it's a definitely yes. An Dora the Explorer, a yes. A like put some fire in your mm, or whatever the situation is and go get it. Yes. Or uh, if you didn't want to know, the, uh, if you didn't want to have that yes, it's because it's very passionately yes, honey. It's a passion that... You know, it's you born with it. You have to do it. Like it, you feel like um, um, <laughs> once again that word provocative. <laughs> Some things might be provocative, but it gets the people going. And if you know the song, you know the song that <laughs> what I'm <laughs> referring with that one. But definitely, this one is yes. It's a passionately yes. It's a a very adventurous yes. It's a yes where. Um, it 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 give you hope, no life. It's give you the energy of life. Yeah, that's more it. You know, you feel alive because of this situation. That kind of a thing. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know what your question is. Uh, let's take a look. Let's see why they are giving you this. Yes, my lovely, beautiful pal two. Let's see why one more please let's see it's a very specific one child every day i'm shuffling one more okay so underneath the deck you have the ten of earth now you have the nine of water the three of swords the hierophant together with a messenger of fire this one is lit okay this one is lit okay um what i'm getting for you with why you are getting this this answer to your question um is because there is something of your wish going to come true because of it and maybe for some of you you might have taken you know um you know, when you, um, you know, <laughs> let me just give you this as an example. You know when somebody is at a party and they kind of like forget that they are married. They forget that they have obligations. They forget about everything and it's like YOLO. <laughs> this energy. That's this energy. Like, um, it's like forgetting about the commitments and that you have made and do life as you please as you wished and doesn't consider people that you are hurting along the way that's this kind of a yes and i don't know what your question is but but that is what i'm getting okay my love uh, because the reason why i said it is because um and and yet still having good results I don't know, like you will be forgiven kind of a thing. Like, okay, I can understand that, you know, you were young and naive or uh, yeah, that can happen. It also happened to me. You will be forgiven. It's like, it's like you, you go out on a Saturday, you do you, you go full ham and then you go to church the next day and the pastor be like, Yes, you see, you came to search for God after all the mess that you did last night, all the, all the things that you have done. Mm, we forgive you because you 
have yet still searched for God. If if God is a forgiving God, then he will wish you that it will forgive you also. That kind of a nonsense. <laughs> it's not nonsense for some people, but I'll be like, I'll be like, really? That's all I have to do? Guess what? I will then do this or that. I'll then go to church. Forgiven. You, you. Life. <laughs> live it. <laughs> you know, live it. And why not? Because you can have your cake and eat it too. Wouldn't you? <laughs> it's not to be mean or mad or bad, you know, but let's be realistic. It's sometimes people need to understand like there is a lesson in stuff and this pile doesn't have lessons. It's this pile uses not to say you, but the circumstance or the thing, the situation that you are questioned about uses some kind of a rule that has been put down to actually also um aid to their needs okay that can be you at work you make question about work but in your contract there says this and this and that and you'll be like oh but i want to do this and this and that and you have found a loophole in your contract so that can please your desire your wish and you do it and then you act like, oh, no, I didn't know that that wasn't, you know, the case because you know how to get out of it. So you be like, I know how to get out of it. I know what to say. It's like giving a Karen energy, like, let's cry. It's forgiven. That's the energy that I'm getting. And here's the thing. If you can't get away with it. Some people think like that. If you can't get away with it, why not? If it hurts one person, but it pleases you, why not? Some people think like that. I am not that kind of a person because I don't know. I feel you, I sense you, I sense them, I see, sense her, he, she, they, it. And that means that energy will come back. No, thank you. Like, yes, you may hurt some people along the way, knowingly or unknowingly to you, but doing it mischievous though, just because you want to live life according to how you want to live life. And yeah, yeah. And some somehow I, let's just say, if you were brought up in a situation like for example if you have chosen to go to church ashe if you have chosen to become mormon ashe but if you are the one that chose it but the people in your surrounding or the children that you have brought on this earth hasn't chosen it but they must obey listen to the word they must obey because you have chosen that lifestyle then of course forgive them if they be like in the midnight go out to a club and go totally ham because they don't know about that outside world because it, it has never been taught about that outside world and now once they come back it's like you know we forgive you because hey you see the devil is out there <laughs> And and that's the thing. I'm not laughing at that because some people, you know, choose that lifestyle. I'm not mad. Whatever lifestyle you choose, if you are okay with it, live it. That is how I live life. Okay. So live whatever lifestyle you have chosen, but understand and forgive the people that, you know, didn't choose that lifestyle and now is hurting because of the lifestyle or because of that situation because they they want to live this way but now because of how they've been brought up they must go like this rule they need to obey to that so they then choose or i will be hurt like i will have the pain and hurt because you know i need to live a life that it's not me or I will have my wishes and dreams and I will disappoint the people that believes in me. So I don't know, but that's what I'm getting from your power of uh, an energy of uh, one way or the other. Your wish will come true. You will have your passion and you will be accepted back into the pattern and stuff. But you will hurt another person or or you cannot have what you wish to have of passion of living life 
So let's see what it is that you need to know more. Keep in mind, I do not know what your question is. It's the message that I'm getting. This is a, a collective reading. So if you wish to have a personal reading, you can find it in the link down below. You have, you are good enough together with balanced spirituality with practicality. Child. <laughs> boat full moon okay there is definitely something you need to release in this situation and know that you are worthy okay and once again spirituality came out again okay because the hierophant is also a religious practice you know that can be whatever religion you have um or a contract or a commitment but there is something of do not um, lower your standard you are good enough um, and the other side because these two funny enough uh, Virgo is the opposite of, of Pisces okay so there is something of uh the world as i've been saying like with mormons and stuff you know that the world is for them if you are a christian or a religion or mormon whatever have you the world the world that the people live the mundane world that's the devil playground and then the spiritual side the religious side that is the the oh this is how life is this is where you will go to heaven and stuff you know so it's giving the opposite like okay choose one meanwhile Meanwhile, if you balance these two nicely, you have a perfect life. You have a, a, a peaceful life. And it seems like somehow in your case, that's not it. So your guys, your spiritual team is saying your human self, you being on this earth is good enough. Okay. I, I don't know if you are religion or you've been brought up religious or whatever have you, you know, or a contract or marriage, whatever that is of, you know, uh, um, you not feeling as if you fit in maybe it's at your workplace looking at Virgo together with um, the Hierophant you know but it's given that you are good enough and find your peace in the spiritual side like uh, for some of you go travel or uh, meditate contemplate meditate or something where you can connect with your guys your spiritual team where you can have a religious practice a religious practice doesn't mean you have a religion but something of oh um i will wake up this day make it um a consistent thing and meditate or i will then pray um, that kind of a way you know and but yet know that oh i'm still a human while doing it so yeah balance spirituality with practicality so let's see for your advice that you guys your spiritual team is giving you oh that's a lot a lot of advice <laughs> so uh, let's see So you have cautious. So there is something where you need to be uh, uh, aware of, caution of, according to the question that you are having. So be aware what you do, the actions you take. You also have energy. Be aware with what energy you are playing, okay? And look out for the magic that surrounds you, that is happening around you. And magic can be... Um, you know, often in, in on my channel, I talk about energy and because I see, sense, feel and look people energy and not only that, the energy that they are surrounding themselves with. OK, so what I'm getting with this message, especially is open your eyes to with whatever energy a certain pe person is um, 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 having or entertaining. So. 
we were talking about being a Mormon or being brought up as a, a, um, somebody that goes to church. And maybe your parents or whatever have never taught you or learned you about if you go outside of this border, what kind of a world that is outside there. You might as well be brought up in a totally different environment than that you are now. And you might look around and be like, oh my my God, I'm in the biggest playground that there is. I can do this and I can do that. I can do. And lots of time, people that has lots of restriction or brought up with lots of restriction, they are overdoing it. Like, for example, let me give an example. Like I live in the Netherlands. And if you tell people like, oh, I'm from the Netherlands, the first thing they say, oh, That is where they have the legal, you know, those cigarettes that are white and white, you know, um, like that. And it's 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 often you 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 love gardening. Let's call it gardening, you know, Bob Marley vibe kind of a thing. And it's like, no, not because it was legal here first. We be 24 seven. You walk on the street and you will smell. Absolutely not. Do you know why? Because often when you have access to something, it ain't fun anymore. It ain't fun. It ain't interesting. Nothing like that. And of course, when you are young, you be like, oh my God, when I'm reached this age, I can then finally smoke some. And then you will try it. And it's like, it ain't that of a big deal though. Mm -mm, It's not deal though, but deal. (laughs) It ain't that big of a deal. And so you will grow out of it. And but... If you go to Amsterdam, for example, you will see lots of tourists be like, woo, high on, high on that kike. Okay. And it's like, Lord Jesus, <laughs> there one goes again, you know? So of course, then they will go ham and they don't know because there is differences in what you can use to gardening and they will overdo it because they be like, yay, I'm here for 10 days. So guess what? From the 10 days, I will only remember when I landed on the, in, 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 in the airport. That's the only thing they will remember because the rest of the, 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 the vacation, <laughs> they were high as a kike. So that's just because the access that they don't have. So it's like that, that when you finally be off a leash, you will overdo it. So that being said, look at the people you are then if you get out if you are uh, off the leash, like be aware of the energies and with who is for you and who's not, who is trying to lure you in to a, 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 to a, 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 a side that, you know, ain't who you are. Not because, you know, you finally can drink, go ahead and gluck, 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 gluck a whole bottle of vodka. No, that ain't it, honey. Okay. Just enjoy and see the world, but be aware because the magic is great in the, in the, in the magic of um, negative energy and positive energy and it depends on with who's which spirit you want to play which spirit you be like you you entertain me okay and i often say which spirit you wants to play because we often are being entertained by energy energy spirits it never goes away have you ever learned about no i will not i will not (laughs) that's different practice (laughs) but there are legends legend story uh, that are um, from the Caribbean that you will not only the Caribbean that certain uh, yeah uh, areas has this legend story that that there are different energies that will play and there are um, energies um, mischievous energy also that they folks story listen well to folk story okay let's just say like that so for your other advice you have love and growth honey so just go where you feel love and where you be like okay i'm teaching something over here i'm nurturing i'm gardening carefully gardening ain't bad yeah it's it's how you garden it's how much you garden it's uh uh what you want to 
blossom when how you want to blossom when you are gardening okay for people that doesn't know i'm yet still talking about bob marley vibe okay if you didn't know what i'm trying to say but yeah but for your advice love is important how you spend your energy embrace the magic that happening for whatever question that you are having but yet still be cautious and aware of what you're doing it must be that it makes you grow instead of you know hurting you so that being said let me know down below that you are still with me by putting up some plants i want to see green honey green because your pal be gardening okay so yeah i want to see green and that will let me know you stick around with me till the end and i thank you for it and i'll see you in another part or another week of mine bye bye so pile three you have chosen this sticker or emoji as your pal let's take a look let's see when it comes to the answer to your question if it is a yes or a no i ask my guides your guides all that has the best interest for us harm to none to let us know the answer to pile three's question is it a yes or a no oh you have two I will take them both, but the one that touched the table first, I will take as your question. You have the two of air. Hmm. It's a choice, honey. Together with the four of fire. It's a choice. This one you have to choose yourself. I'm sorry. Yes, you came here for a yes or a no. But guess what? The two of air is the two of swords where you need to listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut feeling and make a choice your choice what you feel <laughs> content and good with if you want it yes or no and go with what you feel comfortable with but it whatever you choose it will be a great foundation you will be happy there is something to celebrate looking at the four of swords and it might be innocent as in like okay which nap napkin should i go with for my wedding you choose, honey. Should I go with a green? Say yes or no. You guys, your spiritual team is saying, you choose. You choose, okay? Should I go with a red car or, or a blue car? You choose. Whatever one you choose, you will be happy with, okay? So let's see why they are giving you this answer to your question. Very innocent. So let's see why. Ooh talking about car the chariot came out uh, but it felt on the ground so i will not take it um, but it does give the energy of one way or the other you will reach victory you know if it's via a do detour or straight straight right away but one way or the other you will have victory okay so let's see why they are giving you this answer to your question underneath the deck you have the four of earth let's see you have the nine of earth together with the six of air together with a page of water i don't know what it is with the pages but they'll be coming out okay come out come in out um, the nine of earth is giving me that this is situa this situation right here will leave you very independent, um, knowing who you are, you know, because the independent king or queen that you are knows what he, she, they, it, you want. So you will not let another person whisper in your ear what you should do or not. This is something that you should know what to do. Or this is something that you are very, um, 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 how do you call it? Very sure about yourself, about whatever you do. And if you make that choice, you know it will only be right and here's the thing you will move away from whatever situation this is if it is a bad situation looking at the six of swords you will move away from troubling water whatever choice you make you will have beautiful offers coming to you once this troubling situation move away from you you will so as the chariot also that had felt on the ground is saying it doesn't matter if you have to take a bigger of course it does because sometimes you'll be like honey if i have to take five steps or five hours 
I prefer to take the five step and reach my destination, you know? But sometimes you need that five hours of a detour because along the way you will meet a person that be like, oh, pal three, maybe it's nice if you come here and sit, have a tea. Then you sit, have a tea. They will give you information of something you need to know. You'll be like, oh, interesting story. And it's funny, that story will link to you at the end of the, 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 the five hours. And you come to realize, oh, yes, that man or that person has given me that information. That's the answer. And guess what? If you have to- taken those five steps, you would not come across that person that will give you whatever information you need for you to reach the answer that you are looking for. So, whatever you do, it doesn't matter what you choose. Because along the way or on your way, there are the gems that you need. And it will make you feel better if you choose yourself. Because then... You will be like standing more firm behind the choice that you will have made. For example, if you be like, should I choose a yellow napkin or the pink napkin for my wedding? And somebody tell you, oh, do yellow. And then the vision that you are having for your wedding is this. And then you go for the yellow napkins. And then you look back and you look and you look at the whole vision and you be like, Those yellow napkins were so wrong. I should have go with a pink. My gut feeling was telling me pink. And now guess what? Do you want to blame that person that had made that choice for you? Me? No. (laughs) No. My guy says no. You choose yourself. Okay? Your guys, my guys be like, "Mm -mm. this one is on you, boo. It's on you. (laughs) You choose. (laughs) So let's see why they are giving you this answer to your question. But whatever you choose, it will be okay, okay? It will be. Let's see. One more. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. A win-win outcome is in forecast, okay? So if you go left or right, it will be all right. Does that rhyme? I don't know, but it sounds like it. So you have, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Together with step out of your comfort uh, comfort zone. North node. Honey, just do it. Sometimes you just need to do it. Okay? And for you, you just need to do it. I don't know what your question is. Just as long as for the good of all harm to none. Do it. You know? It's, it will be fine. And your pride, your pride definitely do not let it get in the way. Uh, don't, don't think too much of yourself in this situation. Because life will humble you. Life will definitely humble you. Let me give you this example. You might want to, um, like you have to leave house quick, fast. And you'll be like, no, I, 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 sorry, I do not do Uber. I only ride my, my personal chauffeur. I do not do taxis. No, uh, what do you mean? I need to go in the strangest car. No, I only do. I only do um, uh, my per- personal chauffeur. Guess what? Then stay where you are at. Stay where you are at. If that is the only thing you do, and there ain't no options of that for you, guess what? You will not go anywhere. So, yeah, and you will, as I said, you will experience more. By being more adventure, adventurous outside of your comfortable zone. Like, you be like, I only eat pizza. And one day you try Chipotle. You be like, oh my God, what is this green stuff? It's guacamole, honey. It's guacamole. <laughs> okay? So, you know, be adventurous. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter what you do with your question that you are having. It just as long as you be open for new things. Don't think you are uh, too good for certain stuff. Okay? And it will help you more with your moving forward. People will be more generous. Situation, you know, um, you can have a stubborn person going on a vacation and in an, in an unknown place. and Or you can go 
um, very, um, how do you say it? Very lovely looking at a page of uh, cups, like lovely energy and very curious and innocent. Guess who will have a better vacation? Guess which one of those people will be more, people will help them more. And I have witnessed this in my life. I have that I was on vacation with a certain person, very nice, very nice person, really very nice. But people's energy is what attracts another person. And the luck that I have or the things that I, you know, get is because of the energy that I project, you know, put out. So really, it's it's all about how you view your situation. So, yeah. Let's take a look. Let's see for the advice that you guys, your spiritual theme is giving you according to the question that you are having. Ooh. Okay. So you have anger. Okay. So the advice is please watch out for um, your anger or maybe people that are from anger, the energy that other people are, you know, um, projecting out to you. Do you belong there or is it uh, uh, um, okay to um, act like that? Or another person act like that to you. Especially because you have the six of air. Move away from that kind of energy. Like it's not welcoming this kind of energy. It's like I don't even want to be in your surrounding. It's not cute. It's not nice. It's not demure. So you being anger or other people being anger. Move away from that energy. You also have pain so yeah the anger will only cause you pain together with hunger so this the advice card that you are getting is giving me the energy of you may want something so bad but what are you going to do going to do a tantrum throwing tantrum and thinking that the whole world will kneel to your whatever you want or you know do you want it but you are not with your nose in the sky kind of a thing you accept that sometimes you need to take the longer route instead of the short route i do think not to say that you are this is the energy of being spoiled okay being spoiled because you are used to a certain thing and people must apply to that certain thing in that way you have a lux a very luxury problem Mm, it's giving that energy of oh uh, my personal chauffeur or do I have to take an Uber or a taxi? Meanwhile, another person be like, yeah, I have my bike. <laughs> I have my bike. Uh, that's the only thing, and I will I will pedal my way to where I need to go. And you know, like you have the options of two other vehicle, but you know, you you wish to have it different so it's given me that and not to say that you are a spoiled brat of kind of a thing or whatever question you are having is a sport maybe they are you know but your guys your spiritual theme is given like please please open your eyes and heart to whatever way be okay with it long route or short route enjoy where you are going because it's moving you away from troubling situation it's moving you away and making you become independent of whatever question that you are having just as long as you dare to go outside of your comfortable zone though so i do hope i could have helped you let me know down below if this was your reading yes or no by putting up a leo okay a lion that will let me know also that you reached the end with me i'm thankful for it and i will see you in another part or another reading of mine bye bye so, pal 4, you have chosen this sticker or emoji as your pal. Let's take a look. Let's see the answer to your question. If it is a yes or a no. I ask my guides, your guides. All that has the best interest for us, harm to none. Ciao. <laughs> One moment, please. Because I grabbed some cards that's from... Yes, I got them. 
that's the answer to the question from the other files. And I have to do then the intro. So let's start over. Let me just go over. Maybe I will cut this off and do it once again. <laughs> or I will leave it like that. So you have chosen this stick road emoji. Okay. So yeah. Um, shall I start over? No, I'm not. So let's see the answer to your question. If it is a yes or a no, my lovely, beautiful poultry. Let's see. I ask my guides, your guides, all that has the best answers for us, home to none, to let us know the answer to poultry uh, four. You have justice. <laughs> Honey, let me tell you something. You see, I, that is why I like it that, that I listen, you know. I wanted to start over, but it is what it is. The amount of distraction in your reading is really insane because I started to cough and I had to take a sip, you know. But yeah, but I don't know. But the answer to your question, it seems like you, um, I'm being disturbed a lot for giving you the answer to your question. So I don't know what's happening, but it's giving me the energy of, you know, it is what it is. The universe has decided. Because this is the higher Kenna. The justice card is is what has been ruled. It is the law. That's what I'm getting. And the higher Kenna is is it's like a blueprint kind of a thing. It must happen. Number eleven. So it's like the your guys' your spiritual team has weighed the skills, and this is the better thing, you know. So let's see why they are giving you this answer to your question. Underneath the deck, you have the messenger of air. You have the two of water, the ace of swords together with the ten of pentacles. Honey, it's a beauty. It, 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 it depends. Depends on, on the question that you are having. But it's a beautiful, you can say yes. It's a beautiful yes or a beautiful answer. Like it is what it is. This um, um, this situation right here, it's uh, for lineage to come. It is something of a new beginning, something of a connection between you, you guys, your spiritual team in alignment. That is why you had um, that th this is like. It sets in the blueprint. It, your guys, your spiritual team is giving the answer. Like, because this situation, it's must, it must happen. And looking at the two of cups, it's like a soul commitment, like a soul connection. So it is what it is. It must be because it is what it is. And it will be for lineage to come. It will be for a long thing. It will be how you will be. Uh, being brought up or will um, uh, raise your children and, and stuff. It's like DNA is definitely on this table and ancestry. Like it's constantly happened the same. It's how things go. It's like in your DNA kind of a way. So let's see why they are giving you this answer to your question. And keep in mind, I don't know what your question is. But it seems like that it must be. And it's giving a yes. More a yes than a no. Okay, my love. There ain't no no even on this table. So let's see why they are giving you the answer to your question. Let's see one more, please. Oh, the shuffling, honey. One more, please. I don't know what's happening with your pal when it comes to shuffling and all those things, but they making me shuffle. Okay, so let's see. For the what you have, the energy is gaining momentum together with a new start is coming. I told you that is this is something new. Looking at the Ace of Swords, definitely. It's something new. And the, the moment, like, it's like the bell, because I'm seeing a big bell, a, a bell. Uh, um, like, it's like the moment it starts, like a, a, 
a clock tower kind of a bell is what I'm seeing. Like the moment it starts, they look bung, bung, bung kind of a thing. It's like go. So that is why the energy is gaining momentum. It's giving like it must be one way or the other. You know, if you are digging for gold, you don't know when you will strike gold. You don't know when you will hit viral. You don't know when something will happen, when it's your time that it will happen. But you guys, your spiritual team is saying you are close to it. Just do it because it will happen. It's in your DNA. It is, it must be for you. Whatever this new beginning is, it will be life changing for lineage to come. That is how you will meet beautiful soul partners, you know, but how, when it will happen, you don't know, but they are giving you like, Hey, the energy will gain momentum. So do not stop because maybe tomorrow you will hit, hit goal or um, um, just you have to just go dig five steps more and then you will hit goal, uh, gold. So please do not give up. I don't know what your question is, but whatever it is, it's it's a new start. It's new beginning. It's it's making that you will have happy thing coming and you might have a question where you do not want to have a yes to and you will not be happy with it but the result of why you are getting that this yes and after this yes what comes next that's the thing that makes you happy it's just like um you know when um one moment please so yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah, it's just like when you are in a relationship, you'll be like, no, I do not. I do not want to break up with that person. That's my person for forever. You break up with them and then you come across your, your life partner. <laughs> that kind of uh, a situation this is. So let's see for the advice card that you guys, your spiritual team is giving you according to the question that you are having. So let's see. You have movement. So things, once again, just like the energy is gaining momentum and a new start is coming, things will happen fast and quick um, going for you, okay? Fast and quick. Um, um, giving anytime soon together with success you will have success and everything will be sweetness it will be nice it will be enjoyable whatever question that you are having it's it, it, sometimes we are fearful of new stuff new things you know but the way life can change in, in a snip of a second Maybe that is why I was seeing like a person digging for gold and you will strike gold, you know, but what if you quit yesterday? Like you would never know that the capability or the thing that you could have actually reached, you know, so that is why you guys, the spiritual team is saying, honey, this is in your, this is in your blueprint. This is something that must happen. You must do because if you will hit gold by um, going viral or um, actually, you know, meeting people because you are, let me give you, because I'm uh, confusing you right now. For example, you might want to be a YouTuber and you have a certain niche that you are in. Maybe you like to knit kind of a thing. And you'd be like, oh, when will my videos go viral? When will I hit 100,000 uh, subscribers kind of a thing? Okay. And then it's like, okay, you try, you try. It's like, it's never happening. It's never happening. And then you go to an event and you meet other people that are also knitting and you tell them an event via YouTube or event because you've been, you, they invite you to go to an event and you go there because of what you've been doing on YouTube or on social media and you come across and you meet some soul partners, soul people, soul connection there. 
guess what? It was never about the knitting or hitting viral f- for your videos or um, hitting 100,000 subscribers. It was you being in alignment to reach and to connect with the people that were meant to come in your path in a certain moment of time in life. But what if you have quit knitting or posting your videos where you didn't get that invite? Then you will ha- meet one way or the other, but it will be then totally, you know, you know, uh, in a, another timeline maybe. So it's giving that energy that your guys, your spiritual team is saying there are so much uh, things that you will enjoy because of the answer to your question is yes. And because of the, the new start, because of whatever can happen of fast motion. Once it happens, that is why they are giving you a yes, honey. So uh, put down a rainbow. That will let me know you have chosen POW4. And I thank you for being here with me. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like if you haven't. And I will see you in another POW or another reading of mine. Bye-bye. So POW5, you have chosen this sticker or emoji as your POW. Let's take a look. Let's see the answer to your question. If it is a yes or a no, I ask my guides, your guides, all that has the best interest for us this too much. All that has the best interest for us, hum to none, to let us know the answer to your question. My lovely, beautiful. Ooh, I will take this one and the rest as your why. Oh, this one. No, this too much. This too much. We need. No. <laughs> no, we are not going to go with that one. Okay? No. No. The energy is no. So let's see. Let's start over, my love. So, the answer to your question. One more time. <laughs> For the group of harm to none, let's see the answer to your question. What is it like? Who? You have the tower. I get it now. (laughs) I get it now. Like the whole time, your cars be like, bomb, 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 or too much. Like it's an explosion of energy. It's an explosion of energy, my love. The tower, it's a no. It's a no. Mm. Yeah. We will take a look at why it's a no. And it, it can be a good no or a bad no. Because the tower... It's a lesson, a a tough lesson, a painful lesson, because it's like an illusion of, oh, I thought I did a good job. No, you didn't. You, 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 you skip a step like you, you tried or you did it fast so it would be finished and the foundation is like not steady. Uh, It made it that, that, you know, you just have to blow to the direction of whatever you have created and it will fall down and you guys your spiritual team wants you to have something of very firm foundation so that it will not fall down if somebody tried to sabotage it and this situation is here is giving we will teach you by striking whatever that it is down because you yourself did maybe not take the action that you should have taken a long time ago so that is why you are getting a no, because they have often show you that whatever this situation is, it's not for you or it's not, it's not the foundation that you want. It's not stable. You will have to constantly continue working on this. And it's only from your side of the coin not the other one or the other people or the other situation. It will only take of your energy and you do not listen. You do not. You see how I listen? Like the car felt, I was like, yes, I will go with it. Then I was like, "Mm -mm." I recognize that energy. I was like, "Mm -mm, no, we're not going to take this energy. Okay. And I put it back because it was like, no, you, you try to deceive me. No, we are not doing that. Once again, shuffle the cards and put it down. This is why. Let me show you why they are giving you this answer to your question. Let's see. For um, you, my lovely, beautiful, underneath the deck, you have the messenger of earth. For you, my lovely, beautiful, pal five, you have the five 
of cups, the ten of cups, the ace of fire and the emperor. Honey, please stop. Please stop, okay? Like, you, do you want to remain here? The five of cups is really choosing to remain in the sorrow, in the Mm, nah, I'm not, I'm not trying to, to, you know, I'm, I'm like saying like, you know, mm, it's bad for you to stay there, but it's a choice. It's a choice. And oh, I do not want to say it like that because I'm getting how to say the message. And it's, it's very tough. If I say it like that, it sounds very like a tough on you, you know, because sometimes people are hurting or in a pain and they want to remain in that pain because they need to feel that or they need that punishment or they need that validation of, you see, I did wrong. So that is why this is happening to me. You know, oftentimes people choose a certain uh, a certain punish punishes on themselves and here's the thing you might be like oh no I'm not choosing this this is what's being done to me but you choose to remain in that position honey that's what I'm trying to say with the tower you choose to, to remain in that position you choose to stick with that person you choose that they continue betraying you because you have choices every day you wake up and you'll be like I don't have a choice that that this is happening to me I don't but you have a choice if you want to be happy yes or no you wake up and you may choose will today be a beautiful day or a bad day and it depends on which energy you choose to entertain at that moment and listen life be happening because life happens to every one of us every one of us even the fishes life happens to the fishes blub 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 in the sea okay and being captured in a net okay funny enough it woke very happy today but yet <laughs> It's now on my table, you know, on my plate. Did it expect that that day is will be that day? No, <laughs> but it happened. So yeah, life be happening. But what if you'd at least have a say if you wanted to be happy day or not? So if it finished today, like the fish, okay, at least the fish can say, I had a good life though. I was happy. I was happy, at least in my life. I wasn't looking miserable at a situation every time. I laughed even if it was painful or hurtful. I enjoy life. You know, it's, it's sometimes weird to look at other people because everybody has their way how to deal with hurt and pain, looking at the five of cups. And a person that grabs the stuff and be like, you know what? I have from the three cups that have fell down and spilled and that I'm very mad about or for whatever that had happened in my life that I'm very mad about. I have yet still two cups that is standing up, two options in my life, two things that can be right. Now, am I going to remain mad and lay on the ground and you know be like why me why me why did that, that situation happen or are you looking at it like you know what it had happened and I had taken my time to process all of this I have taken my time to mourn the situation that I was in now it's time for me to to go and be happy go and do something that is better for me something of my foundation my happiness ten of cups because where you are at right now looking at the tower it's something where you are not happy you are not content you may stay there but your guys your spiritual team don't want you there they want you where there is happiness where there is um, um foundation where you can be fruitful where there is life of passion once again instead of continue taking the beaten or continue reminiscing on the hurt and pain that is long gone of whatever situation that had happened that happened because sometimes things happen and it will is hurtful and painful and it's like okay i need to now move away from that 
or I'll continue giving this loss of energy my, my power. And you guys, your spiritual team don't want that for you. They want you to move forward to a happiness of a, a, a house, a house, a family, beautiful people around you, uh, passionately things, new beginnings, knowing who you are and not taking other people's BS, you know? Oh, these two felt it says personal issues reaches resolution together with nothing will come of this situation. I wanted to take them, but I put them back, so I will not take them. But it is your message also. So let's see what it is that you need to know more according to the question that you are having, my lovely, beautiful pal five. Ooh. Believe in the impossible underneath the deck. You have a new romantic cycles begins. New moon in a Libra together with expect powerful change. Now something, this powerful change is definitely looking at the tower, how it came out. <laughs> something will happen drastically, wanting or unwanted for you. You will have a new partnership. If it is business, platonic, uh, a love, you will have it. Um, but for that, it, it's going to happen unexpectedly, like the tower. Something must go down for you to have this new thing, this new found foundation, okay, my love? Let's see, for the advice card that you guys, your spiritual team is giving you, according to the question that you are having. So, the advice card, I like it that they be like here. Once again, disruption suddenly on the tower boom it happens out of nowhere you are on your way to work and suddenly your your your, your, your tire will explode kind of a thing it's it's very drastic very drastic it's giving a uranus energy or a pluto energy like endings and new beginnings that kind of energy you know like okay suddenly your life change suddenly out of nowhere you did not expect it because you were actually yet still in the position of oh why me kind of a thing and not to 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 once again i'm not trying to be mean to you by saying you you know no i'm not i i, I just have to give the message like that <laughs> so yeah you also have fate together with ghosts okay People will ghost you or people will leave you, whatever have you. But if you just go by fate out of nowhere, like a ghost, this situation will happen. This is something of your spiritual team, your guides, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, 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 you know, miracles happen sometimes in our life. And we, use, if you are not aware of it, it will be unnoticed to you that like oh my god out of nowhere you know let's just give it to you oh do you know who i'm seeing because i said a tire also suddenly they show me her like um who the f did i marry to the lady was connecting with a man by going to that man her tire exploded and that man came to help her out. Now, her connection with that man was a disaster of a tower. Like she was in pain and hurt because of the connection that she had with that man. She has even lost, you know, a child along the way because of whatever connection that she had uh, with that man. Now, her hurt and pain because of the unstable foundation, she broke up with him. But by telling the story, but telling her story out of nowhere, once again, suddenly an unexpected change. Because that story made it that she actually became the one in power of her hurt and pain. Out of nowhere, it was a viral thing, like bomb. A new foundation by using the bricks that was actually maybe lay wrong in the first foundation. And now it's so stable and strong because of whatever she been through. Like have faith, y'all. Sometimes we be like, why me? Why me? And not knowing 
that everything has a reason, but the reason for you is not to remain on the ground and look at things that your guys, your spiritual team is trying to get rid of you because you yourself cannot do it. They'd be like, you know what? I'm going to show you a heart in a, in a hard way that it's a no. So they rip it from you and it's painful and it hurts. Be like, why? Why is this happening? Because honey, you are holding on to something that isn't for you. There is something better out of that. And you will see it and you will be more happy with it. It will make lots of things more fun, more passionately. And you will maybe encounter even an emperor along the way, you know? But it will make you as the emperor, the I am in this situation. It will make you aware of who you are. I am. Now, Libra is very important on this reading. And also, Aries is very important. So it might, you know... Um, Ring a bell or something for you. But yeah, my love, that's actually your reading. Put up a ghost emoji in the comments that will let me know that you reached the end with me. And I thank you for it. And I will see you in another power or another reading of mine. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't for private readings. Check out the link below. And also you can become a member or a Patreon if you wish to support me on my spiritual journey. And I will see you in, the, in another reading of mine. Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>